Greetings everybody, it's another day, but we're starting over at Epcot with Guardians of the Galaxy colon Cosmic Rewind? I don't know. I'm gonna try to show you as much either. as possible. Roll the intro! In a stunning, shocking twist, Guardians of the Galaxy Golden Cosmic Rewind is down right now. We're not sure for how long, but what I am for sure about is that that is gorgeous. Oh, Spaceship Earth, you're so pretty. Well, we were prepared to do Guardians, so Katie was, Katie's thinking, you know what, maybe we'll do Mission Space. <laughs> I took the medication, I'm gonna do the stuff that makes me sick, okay? Yeah, so she's ready. She's all Zofran'd up. Uh, this vlog is not brought to you by Zofran. <laughs> Here's the deal, I've got nothing to prove, all right? I've done Orange Side before, and I think I did it back in the day when it was so intense, it was really putting people down, you know what I mean? So we're doing the green side. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If we crush the green side, maybe we'll just come back around because you know what the funny thing about this attraction is? The wait times are usually negligible. Like right now, 10 minutes for orange, five for green. So as you can see, we're on the green side, which has no spinning, but it still has enclosed dark spaces. So if you have claustrophobia, maybe if you're a heights, I don't know. It's not that you go up high, but you feel like you're in a shuttle. You know, but there are simulators. These are crazy simulators. And they're basically centrifuges, so you spin really fast to simulate you actually in a rocket launch. It's really well themed in the queue line, though. I haven't been in here for a long time, but this used to be Horizons back in the day, or New Horizons. Yeah, Horizons, uh, and people loved it so much. It was a very intense, um, or I should say complex, dark ride. Omni Mover, very similar to like Haunted Mansion in movement, but then like Carousel of Progress in theme. Yeah, pretty cool. But now we're here, seeing all the heroes that are these astronauts, which, Truly, these people, I, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> first family in space, it's a Dalmatian. I remember when this first opened, they had this like commercial that show all those, the helmets and the suits, and it was intense lighting. It's like, yeah. We need to see Lieutenant Dan. No, Lieutenant Dan's not here anymore. Yeah, but it's okay. His replacement's pretty good. But I do miss Lieutenant Dan a little bit, now the case says that. You're here today to transfer the greatest adventure in the history of mankind space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet. Training. You're here today for flight training the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, Commander or engineer. You'll also be triggering the landing sequence. Commander, you will be responsible for activating the flight sequence and for activating manual control. Oh my gosh. Engineer. Oh no, I can't be trusted. Oh no. <laughs> you will also extend the wings for landing. Eh, we'll see. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they will light up. <laughs> One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Just a reminder, oh, you will me. activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. I can do that. You will That's also Katie. extend the wings for landing. It's close. Snug as bugs. <laughs> you good over there? Yeah. We're good? Yeah. Good, good? Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. It's not anywhere near. Oh, it's not 
Well, look at these. Because these are these. Well, you got these. We got a lot of buttons to press. A lot of buttons. As you can see, as an engineer here, I got some things to press if I want to yeah, press them. Look at that. I can turn them off, turn them on. Also turn them off. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, they're happens. blasting the AC. Oh, hello. There's my face. Spinning portion if we were on the orange side. You wouldn't really feel spinning, it'd feel just intense to be pressed in against your seat. Benches. If you just need a bench for a while and a dark place to sit, I got you covered. Come over here uh, on the expedition Mars. Yeah, we just went around the Earth, so we didn't go to Mars like Orange Team. That's what Orange Team does. Yeah, this is really intensive. It's cool. Did a really good job with it. Oh, and yes, the gift store as well. I feel like this could be rethemed to like the new Buzz Lightyear thing pretty quickly. Oh, Katie found a Stitch shirt. And she's like, mm, maybe. All right, so here's the deal. We just got off of Mission Space. We want to go back to Guardians. Guardians still not open yet. Katie said the green side was still a little like, I don't know. Uh, as far as like motion sickness goes, for me, I'm glad we did green. <laughs> because, I don't know, that the motion simulator, and here's the way that I look at it. And I, I could be off on this, so tell me if I'm wrong, people. Katie, you can join me if you'd like. Um, but there are three different types of things that make you motion sick. When you are moving and the thing you're looking at is not, when you're not moving and the thing you're looking at is, or when both things are moving and they're not exactly lined up, or they are, but it throws you off. That last thing was that last one. Yeah. Where we were moving, there's a screen that's moving, and Katie said, you're like, my eyes are all like, you know? So, I don't know. Um, orange side, do you think would have been bad? I would have been chucking bucks, bro. <laughs> yes. No surprises there. Even with the Zofran. I think I need Meclozine. We'll have to maybe. These are all, I don't know these words. I, like, I never heard of them. It dizziness and uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, so go at your own risk. Green first, orange if you're feeling crazy. Real crazy. <laughs> I'm glad I convinced you. Cause he's like, we're doing orange. Let's do orange. Or like, let's go do this. And then I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. I haven't been on there for a hot minute. I should have quietly recorded before and said like, Katie's gonna do green and say, I'm glad we didn't do orange. How are you? So right. It's true. Dang it. 
dang it. In another shocking twist, Guardians of the Galaxy, colon, Cosmic Rewind, I think is open. So we're gonna go on it. Here we go. So actually what we did is Katie got individual lightning lanes because we're trying to get out last night, it didn't work out. So we're probably gonna miss some of this queue line. Wow, it looks very nice. I am still trying to comprehend. This is our very first time going on here. I know a lot of other people have been on here before, so this might be a lot of stuff you've seen before, but it's new to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Katie and I also grew up on Universe of Energy, so it's insane to see how much they've changed it. And I've heard the rest of the queue line, if you get into the virtual queue, there's a lot of cool stuff to see, but I think we're going to pass over a lot of that, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to show you as much as I can. We are now in a holding area. Right, Katie? My cattle. <laughs> Look at all these people. Oh, I guess we're going into some sort of free show. Again, I'm getting a media blackout on this, so it is pretty much all new to me. We're now into the Welcome Center. Oh, fancy. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayal, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. Oh, as such, it in. we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant hmm. points in space. Interesting. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Wow, oh, Xandarians are so nice. Welcome what? to Epcar. Epcarers. Epcarians. Citizens of Epcar. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. <laughs> Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. Right now we're getting teleported. Oh. Stand by for teleportation. Hey, what's up, Nova Bar? Yeah. Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? 
What do we think of that? That thing's gotta be worth a fortune. I am Groot. Perhaps you know who you think took it. Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. That is a big man. I need to alert Nova Prime. I am the watching terrorists for the odds. That's not great at all. This species has failed. Wait, whoa, 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 we didn't even know there was a test. He's got the constant generator. And he's creating a new jump point. Jump point to where? Not where. Where? It's not good of you, jump point. It's going back to the dark time. Dark time, why? To erase an error. Well, that doesn't sound good. Your time is over. Wait, whoa, whoa, what do you mean? What do you mean it's so bad? these Terrans onto evacuation shuttles. I got it. I mean, we broke in the shuttles to follow them through the jump point. Wait, what? what? Look, they are our only chance of keeping track of that black job until we get the cosmic generator back. He's a cave. What? There's a Where's the king? The odds are impossible. Yep. But it's our only shot. Good luck. Are you sure you can control it? Come on, it's me. We got this. We're all toast. First it was king, now there is toast. Spiders are being so hungry. Terrence, listen up. Wow. Oh. Where'd he go? It's one of the loading areas for this. There's actually two sides. This looks really nice, actually. And again, it's so crazy to think this was Universe of Energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I doubt they repurposed the ride, like, vehicles into the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> There's like this little black curtain up and over there, and it's so cute because when it comes through, it barely fits through here. It's like they cut that little curtain just for it, for the for the coaster, the, the vehicles. Oh look, it, there it comes! Wee! <laughs> I like it. Here we go, Kenny. Then you're likely killed. It's very smooth. You get a knee. Very, very smooth. Alright. Here we go. Oh wow. Okay. Boys, no one's gonna stop. Yeah. Rock and roll, baby. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is intense. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, not two times in a row, but one was plenty. I'm good. Do you see all the dress? It's just a figure of speech dress. You are lying to them. Now I understand. <laughs> Lord have so we mercy. just got off Guardians of the Galaxy colon Cosmic Rewind. Katie, what did you think? Yeah, you feel like you're actually rewinding. That's the best way I can put it. Sure. Yeah. It's got a reverse launch in there. Sorry, it's a little bit of a spoiler. I didn't show the whole thing. But did you like it? Yeah, probably not going to go on it like more than once every time I come here, though, because it messes you up. It's like... Like I was telling Jimmy, it's like rock and roller coaster meets Space Mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Practically. Uh, Katie said it perfectly. I was thinking right as we got done, that is a once in a trip thing for yours truly. <laughs> that is a one and doneer, baby. And here's why. Let's talk about it. You're sitting on these vehicles that do move and kind of show you different show scenes, the big screens. They have a few static models of like the moon or Earth or something. Um, but the the forward momentum, but then also kind of the turning while you do it, or you'll be looking this way, but you'll be going this way, that throws me off personally. A lot of people seem to love it, and I've heard a lot of people say that this is their new favorite attraction here. Maybe it's one of the best roller coasters in Orlando, but I'm going to tell you guys, I have been to the promised land. <laughs> and not that you need to compare everything. But as far as intensity, this is not as intense as Velocicoaster. It's a scotch lower, even though it has no inversions, for me on the motion levels. But may as well have. 
to be honest. Yes. Um, there is a backwards portion in Hagrid's, but it's only like 10 seconds long. This was not that long. You just kind of launch and then you flip around. If I hadn't known that was coming, I did know that was coming. That's the only thing I knew because I there was like it's the first reverse launch. Um, I would be like, whoa, but I think this is fine. I'm not. It's fine. It's it's okay. It's good. We had a, not we had a song. Everybody wants to rule the world. That one. Yeah. I wanted it to be more. I, maybe a different song would have amped me up a bit more. I don't know. There's like six songs all together. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if anybody's been on it and loves it. Yeah, Sharon, I cr I cried because I was going so fast. I'm sure. still wiping away tears. That's how I felt on Velocicoaster because I was in the front on the first time and I was having like tears because I was like, ah. Yeah. Uh, I was really, I told Katie before we started, I was hoping they had the dinosaurs in there from Universe of Energy because we're going like back to the beginning of time. I was like, oh, maybe, you know, at some point they're not at the beginning of time, but still. Um, yeah, so. I also so, thought it was not going to be so dark the whole time for some reason. I yeah. thought there was going to be show scenes that were like, you could see more and yeah. it was. It was pretty dark the majority of the time. For some odd reason, I had this weird idea that there were going to be animatronic guardians like Rocket yeah. over in um, Mission Breakout, but yeah. uh, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. So yeah, so roller coaster that swivels while it moves and a bunch of screens. So that's a lot for my brain, but a lot of people seem to love it, and I'm happy for them. So thanks for getting us on it. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did it. You know. So now we're gonna go do the orange side of Mission Space. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Club Cool. Oh, we're going to Club Cool. Uh, okay, so Katie and I are going to Club Cool now, but I want to say something else. The pre-show stuff was really great, uh, and I liked the little uh, tricky thing they did there with the walls. That was cool. But Terry Crews, I did not know was in this. Yeah, it was a surprise. He's just there. But you know what? I love Glenn Close. Yeah, okay. so Glenn Close was there. So was she's Glenn. great. We love you, Glenn. I'd love to... I would come back on this ride with Glenn. Wouldn't that be amazing? Nova Prime herself. I wonder if she wrote it. I would love to hear her thoughts. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh. I'd also love to watch her vlogs. No kidding. That would be... Those would be great vlogs. Going into the new Club Cool for the first time. And Katie and I were going into Club Cool back in the day when it was on the other side, but also when they had like this little walkthrough and there's a bunch of ice and there was a caveman frozen trying to get a bottle of coca-cola time to try out some drinks from around the world but no we're not going to try to trick each other into drinking beverly we both know the game we used to do it before it was a thing like i said we're kind of trendsetters katie's, for old time's sake. katie's doing a little beverly for old time's sake she's starting with it just a smidge there you go that a girl stick yum 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 Katie's just doing quick shots. All right, what was Bonbon bon like? He's like cough syrup. Cough syrup. Okay. Country club. Like medicine again. Cool. This is Joy from Korea. That was apple liche. Liche? <laughs> okay, Katie doesn't like that one. I think the royal watermelon's probably pretty good. That one's pretty good. This is called Smart. It's from China. Makes you more intelligent. It smells like bacon. Bacon? That smells like bacon? Moldova. They don't have a good one. There's more options. They have one that's just Sprite, but it's Russian. That's probably my favorite. Or the bacon one. Okay. What What does Beverly taste like, by the way? Just if you had to ex describe it. It's bitter. I don't really know Yeah. It's just bitter, incarnate. Yeah, really. Where'd the good ones go, man? Alright, I think it's my turn. Alright, Jimmy, tell us. Yeah, go for it. Oh, you're making a mistake, but okay. Hold over. Hmm. Um, I don't know how to describe that. It looked kind of cherryish, but it's not. I don't know what that is. I don't know. The bacon flavor one. Kind of like a maple. Oh. <laughs> um, it's kind of like like the juices of a barbecue pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the Philippines. Mm. Watermelon, not bad. Not offensive. It's 
fine. It's like it's like a tea drink almost. It doesn't have any fizz, right? It's kind of like a really muted citrus with a bit of fizz. That's what I'd say about it. Madagascar. I feel like I'm kind of mixing all of them as I do this. Like a fizzy suntan lotion. Uh, <laughs> and of course, the Beverly. What do you mean? Here's what I reckon. You're gonna want to fill that to the brim. <laughs> We're just about. And you want to take the whole thing right? in one gulp. How about two gulps? I'm trying to make room. Um. Oh. Was a mistake? Yes. <laughs> but I want to remember. I want to remember Beverly. Yeah, just bitter. It's just bitter incarnate. Uh, best one for me? Try the Russia one if you can behind you. The Russia one. Oh, you're totally right. I'm going in. I like it. Russian Sprite. It's like, is that cucumber in it? Yeah. It's actually very, it's not too bad at all. That might be the best one. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they got rid of the best one though. Which one was that? It was like a very citrusy one. Oh. Similar to like the one we had yesterday. It kind of reminded me of that at the oh. DVC lounge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The citrus smell yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they don't have that one. But yeah. Um, and then followed closely by the barbecue juices. Yes. <laughs> I will lie to all of you. After that little tasting, I feel refreshed. It's like the Beverly brought me back from the brink. Yeah. Or the, just, yeah. No, I'll just say it's a Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> the Sprite's really good. We got another one of those. And this is free. This is a free thing you can come and do. Club cool. Just come on in. Get some drinks with the family. You could get some Coca-Cola merchandise if you'd like. But. Yeah. Cute stuff here. Yeah. Cute stuff. Uh, it's not nearly as like weird as it used to be on the other side, where yeah. it was, like this kind of like not as many people did it, and they over time they made it more accessible. But that whole like you had to walk with a caveman. And, remember that whole oh thing? Oh my gosh, I remember that. That was cool. Blah. And no one was in there. It was good stuff. Uh, I miss it. Mom has shown up with Mac and Asher, which I feel like I've done a poor job explaining who these people are, but everybody knows Mom. This is Asher, this is Katie's son. Asher, can you wave and say hi? How are you doing? Okay, what's been your favorite thing here so far that you've done? What's your favorite ride? You haven't done any rides yet? Not today, I mean the other day. Did you have a favorite one? You liked Haunted Mansion. Peter Pan. Peter Pan was good. Peter Pan was good. He's still thinking it over. There's still, and you know what? We're not even a third of the way through our trip yet. No. We've got a lot more, and the thing is though, for people watching, I only brought a certain amount of memory cards, so for you guys, you might be only seeing so much. The thing, we're trying to prevent Asher from jumping into the fountain right now. Yeah. Uh, but we're here at Epcot, as you guys saw earlier. It's so great to be here with family. They're the most important thing. This lady is my favorite person on the planet. I've said it time and time again. I love you too. We'll buy more memory cards. I <laughs> know, no. I've got a few. We'll see if we get through all of them. Okay. Who knows? Who knows? But they're here now. And yes, my stepfather Mac, who I, again, have done a poor job of introducing. Maybe I'll edit it around where I can introduce them better. But yeah, so mom's here. Asher's here. Mac's here. Katie's here. They're getting a stroller because this guy has been a real trooper. Oh He's God. been walking around. He's been great. Good job. We decided to rent a stroller for Asher. Asher, hop on in there, pal. Bring on back. Hop on in. And then when we're done with it's it, very exciting. Max all over it. He's the brakes. Right Them's the brakes. Katie got the stroller. This will help. This will be good. Right. Your chariot awaits. He looks so happy. I'm excited to get one for myself. I mean, what? Right, uh, Katie, initial thoughts on the stroller. The only thing I'm concerned about is probably just the parking. So just yeah. Where to put them. We're gonna learn about that. It'll be great. Yeah. It shouldn't be that bad. But you like it so far. Yeah. It seems you said it was lighter than you thought. Oh yeah. 
this would be nice. And I was talking to Katie about this. Apparently, this is not the same stroller she'll be using for the next five days or whatever. <laughs> but you have a receipt and like a ticket that you can bring to other parks so that way you're not bringing this on the bus with you unless you had your own personal stroller. So yeah, I don't know, it seems good, but yeah, we're looking at the stroller parking right now because that's a big deal, especially in Disneyland where space is very limited. But hopefully that won't be as big of an issue here in Walt Disney World. Once again, walking into the land pavilion and oh my goodness, I'm so excited because today might be the day that we're doing the best attraction here, in my opinion, which is living with the land. Oh my gosh, I love a boat ride, you guys know that. And the older I've gotten, the more I love it. And I just accept it. I don't want to be those, like one of those people who just rails against it. It's like, no, I only do the thrill rides here. I'm all about thrill rides. Because no, that's not the case. Walking to the land, they have this huge mosaic. And the only difference between the one on this side and the other side is this green tile right there. Because they are exactly the same. Now there's a bunch of different accounts of why that is. I've seen videos on it. I don't know the full story. But what I do know, is that living with the land is a walk on. Oh, okay, I, don't, I don't know if we're doing that first. <laughs> but we're back. Oh my goodness. I love this place. It's, it's so good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And living with the land, believe it or not, is one of those rides that's even better at night. Oh my gosh. I keep saying it. 10 minutes. It says 10 minutes. That's how long the queue is. That's not 10 minutes. That's 10 seconds. We're here at the Sunshine Seasons to get a little bite to eat. And I haven't been here in a little bit, but it's fun to come back. Yeah, the land has got a lot going on, and a lot of the stuff you get here, the produce, is made from the attraction, living with the land. It's pretty crazy. One really nice thing about the Sunshine Seasons is that they have a wide variety of things to pick up if you want, like a sandwich, tacos they have that, they've got stir fry, they have a bunch of different things. Uh, so if you're coming here with a big group, everybody should hopefully find something that they enjoy. I end up getting some shrimp with some fried rice. And a shout out to Yadi and Brian. Uh, very nice, and what Brian said to me stuck with me. He said, I said like, oh, you're doing a great job, Brian. He said, no, you're doing a great job. Um, and he said, just remember, he's like, be patient with yourself. He's like, you do that, you'll be good. And I was like, oh my gosh, a little piece of wisdom wow. from a cast member. I love the cast members so much. It like, I was like, I needed to hear that. That was great, and that was so that good. Over the bakery, this is where you redeem your Donald, the sippy. Yes. Oh, there, oh, there so it's like the popcorn bucket. But yeah, so you can buy it in the line with the cashier, and then you go redeem it at the little bakery stand. And Pamela was very sweet. Yes, Pamela. And Misha, who else uh, helped check us out. Everybody crushing Everybody's it so here. Nice. We love them. Uh, $13 for the Donald. He's so cute. He's very cute. Yeah, he's very I cute. I think he'll be here long because he's got a jack o' lantern. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what, to be honest though, I like him and I like it better than the popcorn zipper. Uh oh. Mom has the oh, antibacterial. Oh. oh. <laughs> what was that? You said you're. I'm ready for Christmas. She's November 1st. She was ready. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm hanging out with mom. Um, I'm gonna try some fried rice and shrimp. Fantastic. Oh no. They came for the shrimp. No, mom's got this like uh, grape and cheese. It's like a little charcuterie. It's got a baby bell and everything in there. And she also has a cinnamon roll, which she was looking around. <laughs> it kind of, balances out. She was looking for something and I walked over and I said, oh, hey mom, they have cinnamon rolls. And without saying anything, she just, she beeline. Oh she was gone. <laughs> oh, a little, uh, is that a mini baby bell? I get it? I get it. Oh, it's clever. Well, now that lunch is all sorted, it's time to enjoy living with the land. And it says it's a 10 minute wait. This one looks closer to that now. It's still not gonna be 10 minutes, <laughs> but it's just one switch back. I think they just put 10 minutes on there. I like it's 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna tell it's 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, but we're just gonna tell it's 10 minutes, all right? Asher, what did you think of your lunch? It was good? Okay, what was your favorite part about it? The num num cookie. Oh, the num num cookie? It wasn't exactly a num num cookie, but it was close enough, right? M&M cookie. M&M cookie. I'm so sorry. I misheard you. I apologize. You like that best? Yeah. Okay. That was great. I'm glad. What about the grapes? You like the grapes? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Thank you. He's going to be a little food critic vlogger. Watch out for Asher's channel coming in 10 to 15 years. And there he is, the guy with the scythe. Ooh. I like scythes. I think they're kind of cool looking. And like an actual tool used. I wonder how many scythes are still being used 
and like massive agriculture. Probably not as much anymore, but it's a bit of our history. Oh, look at this. We're back in the rainforest. And if you look right up here, there's the Garden Grill restaurant. Mm. I'm gonna eat there one day. Oh, but it's just so nice, so peaceful. It's a puppy dog. Oh my goodness. Oh, Mickey's up there. Oh, look at him. Hi, Mick. Ah. Of all the forces it's just so that well done. Land, humans have had one of the most so good. Found effects from Here we are, some sealing wax palm for you. Are exploring innovative right. ways to uh, produce bountiful pine harvests now and into apple. the future. Okay. Breadfruit. Hmm. Two of my favorite things in one. No guava, so you can see what they're the doing. Is they're taking are this and they're actually the putting it into of some of the dishes the you can find at the Food and Wine Festival. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, yeah. cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around so the cool. world. And again, very these relaxing. These are just a few of the edible plants that have just been an important going. source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Mm. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals. It while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. So these are hybrid tilapia. They're half werewolf, half vampire. It's incredible, that's why you, they have the translucent skin. I'm just messing with you guys. Have a little bit of fun. I don't know hybrid tilapia means. Well, Katie's pointed out a very hidden Mickey. Cool. Our small Very fish good. farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds channel of fish each over year here. to serve in restaurants. Asher is immediately taken in. Loves Innovations it. Like this one we have, have these guys over here. There's so much products. going on in this attraction, and it's been here since 1982, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's amazing. Oh, I love shrimp. Freshwater shrimp. I feel kind of bad, but also I'm getting a little hungry. As long as I'm not becoming too shellfish. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know if that's for food and wine, but it's really like a grill setup with beanbag tongs. Oh, it's super cute. Oh, nutrient film area. technique. That's what NFT stands for. Okay. Now I get it. It's all coming together. Living with the land is such a chill, fantastic, relaxing, informative attraction. Uh, and I could ride it again and again. If they made those seats more cushy though, you know, but it's, uh, that's kind of part of the allure uh, of coming back again at night. It's like, you don't want to ride it again again right now. You sit on it for 16 minutes or whatever, and you come back later and do it again. It'd be kind of cool if like, when you went through, if in the greenhouse portions, they talked about different plants each time. That'd be kind of cool. Well, I guess different, they'd have like three or four, I should say three or four like different spiels because they used to actually have real live cast members on the ride back in the day, and we met one uh, <laughs> back when Katie and I were doing Rise of the Resistance um, rope dropping like five in the morning or whatever. He's very nice, he knew the whole spiel. He started diving into it. It was, uh, it was really cool. <laughs> now we're heading into the seas with Nemo and friends. This is another one that uh, we used to do way back in the day. But it used to just be like a tram ride kind of thing, or like an Omnimover, I should say, that just took you to the sea base Alpha. But now they have this whole theme to it, and it's pretty much the same story for the most part as the Finding Nemo submarine voyage, except we don't have Australian like, captains on our, on our little clamshells we have here. That's what we have, we don't have subs. <laughs> this is also a really underrated queue line. You start off kind of on the beach, and then you go down under the water. It's really cool both in style and in temperature. Uh, and it's a fun time in here. Uh, it's a lot of switchbacks. Only five minute wait right now, so we're just gonna walk the queue line. I've seen this uh, where they've had a longer line. That's usually when it's hotter out and it's busier in the park. But I am happy not having to deal with them. As you can see, we are now under the sea. And one of my favorite little touches is they have a boat right there. It's like, oh yeah, I'm under the water now. It's very well done. I like it. Uh, <laughs> great job, Imagineers. Great job. We're on it. Oh, Asher's here too. Asher, hello. He's in the dark. You can't really see him very well, but that's okay. Trust me, he's there. He wanted to ride with me. I don't know why. I don't know why this little guy wants to ride with me. But yes. 
So, if you could go to both coasts and you wanted to experience this, but you suffered from claustrophobia, this would be a better version of it. Or, recently I did the outpost uh, that they have over in Disneyland so you can experience the submarine without actually getting in the submarine. Just ask the lovely cast members about the outpost in Disneyland. Hi, Dory. Oh, these are jellyfish. Jellyfish. Ah, jellyfish. Okay, now make it something pink, kind of balloony. That's jellyfish. Oh, good. Can't really see it, but I'm being chased by the anglerfish. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh. oh, a shark? You see him? Oh, there he is. Sometimes he pops out. <laughs> I wonder if clown fish tastes funny. EAC. It's gonna be intense, you ready? Hold on. Oh, Hello, turtles. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We are. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We've been stopped, but it's a real live shark over there. We saw a ray. Lots going on here. So, not a bad spot, but we're also kind of right by the EAC still. So, <laughs> and sadly, Katie does not like that portion. And she's stuck over there. I'm sorry, Katie. We came over here to see the manatees because they are my mom's absolute favorites. And, yeah, it's just. It's nice to be here with mom. And uh, Asher is really enjoying it too. <laughs> so yes, the manatees are incredible. Uh, beautiful, majestic creatures. And they like to barrel roll. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's lunchtime. And it's time to eat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they are excited to come get some lunch. Ah. It's fantastic. I love them. My mom was just saying, you know, they're kind of closely related to elephants. They have toenails on the end of their flippers that you can kind of see there. And it was kind of like an otter right there holding it and just munching away. Man. The only way I'd eat that much salad that quickly is if you covered it in French dressing. <laughs> I popped off the ride with the manatees and now we're over here with the eels. Yeah. Look at this guy. How cool is this? I like to have never come over here before. There's multiple eels. There's one here and there's another one wrapped up over there. Oh. The colorations or the patterns on these guys. It's incredible. It just shows how, you know, over time evolution. Oh, there's another one down here. Are they, you know, blending in with their surroundings? It's just really is incredible. They're like underwater all the time. Like, ugh, yes. We've seen these guys in the past. Because I remember when we were here with uh, Joe and Haley back in 2020, we commented on Lil Joe. It's one of the names, 705 pounds, and Lou is 1,910 pounds. That is impressive. Just look at them. Uh, this one just came up for air a little while ago. I don't know how long they can hold their breaths for, but it's a long time. I have a hard time holding it for like 30 seconds, let alone minutes upon minutes upon minutes. Okay, manatees are they're beautiful. Yep. And again, they're mom's favorites, and they just destroyed that lettuce. Oh my gosh. So quickly. And she's going to be here all day. She'll be here all day. And right next door, we've got a dolphin. Oh my goodness. Yes. Dolphin's incredibly fast. There's a dolphin. Man, they're so impressive. Asher's just enjoying this massive aquarium. Katie, what do you think of it all? 
this is my favorite part, this bay. Yeah, where you walk down and through. So cool. There's yeah. scuba divers. There's like five people in there. Oh, really? There's oh. There's actually people working, and they're walking on the bottom of the bay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Here he goes. Well, right now they've got some scuba divers in the tank. Apparently, my mom was telling me that you can actually pay to do this. It's something I would love to do someday. Wouldn't that be such a killer vlog? <laughs> scuba diving at Living Seas. Oh, it's so cool. It's just, this whole area is amazing. Now we're popping on down and journey into imagination with Figment. It says it's a 15 minute standby. Oh my goodness. It's pretty long for this one. It's incredible. The Imagination Labs. And actually, they were letting people back there to sign the guest book recently, believe it or not. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Niall, or Dr. Nigel Channing. They've got Philip Brainerd, Wayne Zielinski. This guy. Oh. He's made some pretty crazy stuff. Here we go. Imagination Institute. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? Oh. It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with yep. your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. People call him Figment. I'd like call him Fujimont. I completely lost my train of thought. Uh. No, you haven't. I told Asher that's a roller coaster to put his hands up. My hands are up. <laughs> I love it. Uh oh. M I G M E N T. You can see things differently. Sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing pigment. I've heard this too many times, baby. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more. Then what your eyes see, your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. I say imagination must be captured. Oh my god, Oh, this is gonna be great. Alright. Little low key gambling, let's go. Oh no. Horrible. Ah. We never get chocolate chip cookies. A PR nightmare. The touch and taste labs. How would they even do it? I don't know. Oh, there he is. What is going on? Figment. I love you. Upside down. Upside down. Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. Do 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 do. With just the spark of inspiration, uh, I made my house an innovation. Imagination really comes around. <laughs> they come right up and upside down. Uh, oh, Asher, look, there's a truck on the ceiling. Look right up there. You see that? Isn't that crazy? Wow. So what do you think? Is it more than you can imagine? Crazy, huh? Wow. When it's set free. You said it, Doc. There we go. Imagination is a blast. What? Yeah. Asher, look at all the figments. There's like a million figments. Is there any superpower Figment doesn't have? Uh, from me and you, one little spark of inspiration is at the heart of a creation right at the start of everything. We're in the play labs now and Asher's doing it. He's got the music. Asher, give us a little more music, huh? You gotta put your hand in here. Oh. Good stuff. Mom's got it too. Look at her go. The grace, the beauty. Let's look 
gets higher, the higher you can chance up. And then you can also, the faster you move, it uh, increases the tempo. It's actually pretty cool. Katie just found some Nightmare Before Christmas ears. Pretty cool, like translucent, and shiny. How much do they, oh, $40. These ones are 40. And these are the ones you like. How much are these? 50 bucks. $50. I don't 50, know 50. what they are though. Okay, I don't know. It's like a nice design. I'm sure they're tied into one of the princesses or something, right? They gotta be, I don't know what this is. Is it Jasmine? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I really like this sleeping figment. He's so cute. And he's going for... I don't... Hold on. Oh, here's, here's the price tag. Oh, $39.99. See, it's a pair of ears or a sleeping figment. You decide which one you'd like, but look, he's just, just so cute. Like, all the sleeping versions of these uh, critters and characters are just, ugh. I love them. We tried to make the most of our vacations, and because we're in the Imagination Pavilion, and we were doing it the other day, we're going back up into the GVC Lounge, because <laughs> it's lovely up here. It's the high life. Something I wouldn't do normally, but uh, thanks to the family for bringing me along. It's a real pleasure just to get to do these little things. Just be with them in the first place, but on top of that, I get to go up here, uh, back into the pyramid. I just fit. Maybe. Maybe we are back in the DVC lounge with Katie. Katie! Yes, sir. How are you enjoying it? It's very calm. I like it a lot. It's very nice, huh? Just live up here. Stay up here? Give me a cot and I'd be very happy. Yeah, it's like, nice and quiet. Uh, I love it so much. It uh, so chill. Quick turnaround on the wait list. We were supposed to be waiting like 10, 20 minutes and then they're like, you're ready, let's go. It's like, thanks, we'll go right up. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Love you, DVC cast members and all cast members. Thank you. Goodbye, DVC Lounge. Maybe we'll stop back again. But if not, it's been lovely. I could come here every day and just sit. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This reminds me of a place I used to study in college. You know, obviously not as grandiose as this, but this would be the type of place I would study, kind of higher up in a building and have a nice outlook. Like, it would just be so nice to come sit and relax here. But the problem is, with so many people here today, I feel kind of bad taking up a spot. So, we didn't stay super long. And now we are on our way. While we're walking back to the strollers, I want to take just a second and say thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it so darn much. You really make my day. And uh, it's just so nice to have you here. It's like you're part of the family. Hang out with mom. Mm -hmm. Part of our family. Part of the family, part of our family, yes. Ohana. Ohana. Means family. It means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. I forgot. I didn't know you were waiting. <laughs> She's like, I forgot. I get, oh, clever. Look at all these beautiful, lifelike animatronics. No, I'm just kidding. Got some chunky ducks, mom likes to say. Uh, they're so cute. I hope they have easy lives here. Sadly, we're leaving Epcot, and the music is fitting. But the vlog's not done yet because we're heading to another park in three, two, one. Oh, we're back. Okay, we're in the Magic Kingdom now. Oh, we got the stroller back there. Mom saw the tree. It's very magical. She's already welling up. I tried to get it on camera here because it's a nice moment. Here we go. We're just gonna drink it in. She's just so happy to be here. Look at her. She's so happy. <laughs> uh, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. It's a good time to be here. One thing I wanted to point out is that normally in Disneyland, this would be where Walt's apartment is with the fire station. That's not necessarily the case here. Uh, it's still a little fire station, I believe, or it's an engine company. But uh, yeah, it's so interesting to see the differences between that, and, like here and in Disneyland. But yeah, it's so cool to see all the Christmas stuff going up. I can't wait to see the other parks here and what they're looking like. Again, Epcot, it's gonna be a while before they get their holiday stuff up, but this is a great start. Well, that looks really nice. Great uplighting there on the castle itself. But it is hectic here on Main Street. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the nice thing about Walt Disney World is it's bigger, but that also means there are more guests enjoying spaces. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a little bit of a different vibe than Disneyland. Again, I'm sorry to keep comparing it to that, but it's just what I'm used to lately. But Katie's right ahead of us with her ears on. Katie's wearing, is that rose gold? Yeah. It's the rose gold. It's the ones that started it all. I don't know if that's what started all the trends with the mini ears, but I feel like 
it was rose gold. Also at the time of this recording, there is construction walls up here on Main Street, so that might be another reason why it's so hectic here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of people gotta get their pictures. Oh, and it's a magic moment. They're holding something, and hopefully that'll look better in the photo pass that it did right there while I was filming them. <laughs> Sorry, family. We are mortalized on YouTube now. And this evening, we are dining at the Crystal Palace with Winnie the Pooh and all his friends and a bunch of prime rib. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And just like that, we're in. Winnie, Piglet, and Tigger off to the left over there. We'll see them soon. But what I'm really looking forward to is my friend, prime rib. I'll try to find the vegetarian options as well. Maybe I'll try them out, but really it's buffet number two. Very exciting. Here we are. You know what's really cute about Pooh? Is that I grew up with a mom who's a teacher. She has her doctorate in English. But the fact that Pooh did not write celebration correctly is very endearing to me. I think it's very quaint. It's a backwards S. It's a whole thing, and I, I love it. I just, I really do love Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> He's so great. I was starting over here at the kids' buffet. They've got the yeah, chicken tenders, mac and cheese, beef quesadillas, cheesy pizza bread. Look at that. That's not bad. And then over here they have an extensive salad bar. Oh, they've got even like little bacon bits. Wow. Assorted dinner rolls. Mom has already been here. She's already moved through this. <laughs> but then we start to get to the meat and potatoes, as it were. The country fried chicken. We're gonna get up close to these. Oh man, the potatoes. And then over here, I can't wait to show this off. Oh, the country fried chicken with those Waltz mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness, those look delicious. <laughs> and then they've got some vegetables over here. You're gonna wanna skip those. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, and look at these little roasted mashed potatoes. Or there's roasted potatoes, roasted marble potatoes. Wow. Oh, and this is a vegetable chana masala. Is that what I say it? I don't know how to say it. It looks nice though. Yeah, but here are those marble potatoes. They look good. This all looks really good. The last thing I want to show off is they've got the shrimp creole over here. I'll be coming back for that. For sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have the oven roast chicken over here too. And the Italian sausage. Oh. And then the pièce de résistance over here, besides all the fixings. Let's just walk on over here. You ask for a cut. A fire, uh, fire roasted prime rib. Oh my gosh, the pork loin. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. And down over here, they've got the treats, and I've heard nothing but good things about this like butterscotch pudding popcorn stuff over here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this. I've wasted no time getting the meat and potatoes. We've got multiple potatoes here, some shrimp. Apparently it's peel and eat shrimp. I'm gonna get some as well. Some roasted chicken and some prime rib. And we're starting with that prime rib, baby. Bon appetit. Good. The prime rib is so good. I have to get some au jus. I'm supposed to let it sit in the au jus. I could have taken that whole thing with me. There's this big pile of it up there. Big plank. I don't know what it is. Prime rib comes in. I'm gonna try these uh, waltz potatoes too. Yeah, see, if the whole buffet was prime rib and mashed potatoes, I'd be happy. I'm a simple man, simple taste when it comes to buffets. I'm very excited about this buffet though. We're gonna. It's the first plate of a few, at least a few. Plate number two, more prime rib. Some shrimp, some peach chutney with a cocktail sauce for the shrimp, and some red wine au jus for this bad boy right here. I'm so excited. And here he is, Tigger. Oh. <laughs> uh, <aww>. <laughs> Tigger, how are you, Tigger? <laughs> You're my favorite, Tigger. You're the best. Yeah. Say, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So strong. The bounciest. The flounciest, yes. <laughs> oh, Tigger, you're amazing. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you, Tigger. So I saw this trick from my buddy Nate, paging Mr. Marl, and he says what you gotta do is you gotta put some of that prime rib sitting in the au jus for a bit, and then try it out. Let's see if it tracks. He seems like an expert in these things, so I defer to him. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna be here? Mm-hmm. smoky, delicious thing. That elevates it. 
to a new level. If you let it sit in there for just a little bit of time, yeah. As Nate would say, that is the way. That is the way. <laughs> Aw, Piglet's here. Aw. <laughs> so cute. Aw, Piglet, you look great. <laughs> You want, you want to trade? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. You're fantastic. <laughs> Here's the reality of the situation. We have a little bit of time crunch, so we want to get out to fireworks. But my guy Michael keeps setting me up with prime rib. I had some shrimp on here because it was so good last time. I got a couple of cookies. I don't know what the vegetarian options are coming out tonight, guys. There's only so much time. But if I could, I'd sit here for two hours and eat this and that, and this and that, and this and that, and this and that. It's, <laughs> it's like the best buffet I've ever had here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and look, Eeyore is coming over. Hi, Eeyore. Oh. Hi, Em. Aww. <laughs> Aww, it's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Eeyore's amazing. We love you, Eeyore. Oh. So good. Thank you, Eeyore. Aww. <laughs> Oh, he wants to give you a hug. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bye, Eeyore. <laughs> this is my guy Michael over here carving up the prime rib. He's been my buddy. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Look at that. Look at the technique. Oh, a master. That's why it says culinary on his hat, because he's the best of the best. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> okay, I swear I'm not slowing down, but like, I kind of have to. It's so good. They have like warm chocolate chip cookies. I'm still doing the au jus. It's like a fourth plate of prime rib, guys. Oh, this might just be the final plate here. Chocolate chip cookie. Um, some chili from Walt. Some grits, shrimp grits. And then this is the vegetarian uh, thing that we saw before with some grapes. So I'll try this and let you guys know what I think of all of it. The beef chili was good. I'm not a fan of grits, or these grits. Not, I mean, it's just not my style. I think it's a consistency thing. And this is not too bad. <laughs> but I stayed in the right lane with all the prime rib, I think. So I did try a vegetarian option. I'm trying, guys. I really am. The family gets to meet Winnie. There they go. There they go. Yep. <laughs> it's so cute. Winnie's his favorite. So he has to come say hi. All right. Mom, you got to flank him. She's like, no. Mom, go on the other side. There we go. He's so cute. We love you, Winnie. You're so good. Oh. See, now the castle to me looks so good with all the full color lighting package. You know, a lot of people did not like the 25th celebration, uh, which is big birthday cake. Very divisive. Also, people didn't like it when it was Stitch and <laughs> you like TP'd the castle. Uh, yeah, I don't, all bold choices. I kind of like them all for their own little quirks. This looks really, really good at night, I think. Um, that's just, that's how I feel. But also, we need to talk about dinner. I don't know what it is. When I used to come here when I was a kid, we did not come to Crystal Palace as much or it wasn't as memorable. But man, that was so good. Uh, I was talking to the manager there and he said that they pride themselves on keeping a really strong cast there, um, not just uh, Winnie in the group, but also the servers, the chefs, and everybody. So they have a few people there who've been working there since opening day in 1971. That's insane to me. Uh, our server had been working there 19 years. He talked to another server that's working there 30 years. Uh, it's amazing. I, it was one of the best restaurant experiences I've ever had on property, hands down. And now we are going into uh, maybe my favorite land in all of Magic Kingdom, Tomorrowland with the family. Mom said People Mover, and People Mover is what we're gonna do. And oh my goodness, if you look up there, I'm not used to that. Is that, is that always been there? Is it always open like that? It looks so good with that, or that uplighting at least. It looks amazing. Uh, Tomorrowland here is such a slapper, a banger. It's just, you gotta love it, don't you, Katie? Oh, for show. Sure. Oh, for show, sure. oh, my gosh. But the whole family is not going to go on Space Mountain. Uh, it sounds like People Mover, Winnie the Pooh, maybe Tomorrowland Land Speedway. It's nine o'clock right now. Park's open for another two hours. Some of us had naps today, so we're feeling fresh. Some of us ate half a whole thing of prime rib, like multiple slabs. So we'll see how I'm doing. I'm feeling powerful though. I was feeling the good vibes over at Crystal Palace. I'm not kidding you guys. That was one of the best meals I've had on 
property, hands down, bar none. Uh, I just, I'm so, I'm blown away. It was great, uh, and it was the service, really. I mean, the food was amazing, but the service really makes it, really makes it stand out. Katie, what did you think of dinner? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I had way too much shrimp, like. Oh, the shrimp was, am oh, oh it was my gosh, incredible. It was so good. Oh my I gosh. Didn't, you know what? The grits were good too, okay. and that was the case. I didn't. I it was okay. Kind of gross. I don't like the consistency of it, but I'm glad you liked it. No, it was really good. That's good. Uh, Asher, what did you think of dinner? You're too full. That's the way you should feel after a buffet. Ma, what did you think of dinner? I loved it. You loved it? Especially the desserts. The desserts? That little thing with the popcorn. The butterscotch popcorn pudding thing. That was great. And Mac, what did you think of dinner? I thought the fried rib was great, but I'm telling you, there was a guy sitting next to me that had a whole plate. <laughs> he had a whole five platefuls or four platefuls of prime rib. Yeah, it was uh, exactly. Oh my gosh! It was uh, seriously one of the best meals I've ever had here. It was I could I could have sat there for another three hours. Yeah. Well, you almost did. <laughs> I almost did. They were gonna kick us out, I think. Uh, <laughs> when he was gonna grab me by my scruff and be like, "You're out of here." Uh, so yeah, we're going up on the People Mover at night. So good. And then the Astro Orbiter located up top. We're not gonna do Astro Orbiter. I've done it before. I'd like to do it at night sometime. I've only ever done it during the day. But it is just beautiful. It adds a lot of um, kinetic energy. That and People Mover to Tomorrowland. It just, it's always shifting and flowing. And look at that up there. It's beautiful, that thing. I love it. Uh, yeah, I I love the people mover. I love it so much. I was telling the family she's all dressed up in purple tonight. Oh, she's looking so good over there. Oh. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome <laughs> so aboard pretty. the people mover. <laughs> this Tron right over there. I'm Orac 5. What? You are very bored of this way in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. People mover? My stars People is real good. It's real good, right? Bring on the side. Mom, Asher, myself. Asher, you want to say hi? Or gravity hi. Hi. Yep, we can all fit in here somehow. We managed. Even after our buffet. <laughs> well, that's all in front and not side to side. <laughs> There's Katie in the castle. It's good stuff. Inside Space Mountain here for a second. And oh boy, oh boy. I love it. Just look at how cool that is. So I keep joking with Katie because back in the day, a few years ago when I was living in Minnesota, we would do this show called Disney Duo, and we talk about our favorite hotels and attractions and things like that. And she used to talk about the Carousel of Progress. Yeah, oh, people are waving. Katie waved back. Some guy gave her a thumbs up. It was great. Anyway, uh, but now Katie's talking. People Mover is her favorite, and I get it. People Mover is wonderful, and there's something about it. It's so relaxing. It's informative. Uh, you get to see the land from bird's eye view, kind of. And it, it just feels unique. And I just wish every land had one. <laughs> I just love the people. <laughs> well, we just saw him over at the Crystal Palace, so we're gonna go say hi to Winnie the Pooh and the 100 Acre Wood. And this one, oh, baby. It's, uh, it's pretty good, and I'm gonna show you why. Katie used to live here. Uh, I make that joke because we took pictures and video of her last time being in there. Well, no, I should say two times ago when we were here with Joe and Haley, uh, our friends from back home. <laughs> it's, it's great. Uh, a lot of people talk about Pooh's Honey Hunt being the greatest Winnie the Pooh attraction in the world. I haven't been on it yet. That's over in Japan, Tokyo. One day, hopefully, and Winnie is a big deal overseas. Not that he isn't a big deal here, but really, really popular over there. But I really like this version of the ride. It's the one that did replace our beloved Mr. Toad, though, a long time ago. Uh, and Mr. Toad actually had two tracks here. It's fascinating. And there's a little, uh, there's a few call-outs here, too. Uh, J. Thaddeus, which is nice. But, you know what, it's nice to see Winnie have such a, a strong following here as well. Uh, and again, just because I'm going to Disneyland a lot, not nearly as popular because he's kind of stuck back in the park, but I really truly believe if he had a spot in Fantasyland, Winnie would be sitting at 30, 35 minutes forever, just like this one is. We're getting the honey off here so you can see various characters like Rabbit here. He's the happiest he's ever been covered in honey, I guess. <laughs> one kind of interesting cue line thing here is that it's like we're going into the pages of a book. Uh, which, again, is more Pooh's Honey Hunt. Uh, not so much over in Critter Country, Disneyland, but I kind of like it. It's growing on me. I thought at first it was kind of weird. I'm like, wow, how are we going into a book? But, you know, that's what Pooh's based off of. And 
you know, it'd be kind of cool to see all of them like that, but this one makes it unique that he's got the pages that nobody else does. We got the whole family in a cart. There, hey, it's everybody in the shop. That was nice. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There's Winnie. Eeyore. Oh, man. It's amazing they went into business to open up that Crystal Palace. Aww. All right, let's look for that J. Thaddeus Toad. There he is, right over there. Boom. But that's not all. Because if we look over somewhere, oh, there he is. There's Molly with Pooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. No, the heads, that's the Disneyland thing. Woo! <laughs> this part's so good. Whee! Hands up, Asher, hands up. Not a boy. Not a boy. <laughs> oh, take yourself aware. Ordinary. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Party without me. Brutal. We just got off the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Katie, thoughts? It's cute. Tigger always scares me. Jumps out at you there? Always. He's like, oh, like I've ah. even been waiting for it. I know he's coming and I get scared. You get scared? That's my favorite part of the ride. I love it. Uh, but you like it. Yeah. Of course. We probably talked about it last time we were here, but uh, it's always enjoyable. And Asher liked it too. But now Asher, Mom, and Mac went back to the room. So that means. Wow. Thrill ride time, all right? Uh, and we started our day off with Mission Space, which is crazy to think about. That's how these days work here, they're big days. But we're gonna go all the way back to the other side of the park for a mountain. Can you guess which one? I don't know, you get like one and two shot. Did you guess Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? Oh my gosh, dropped out of 20 minutes, it was 35 before. Uh, they said it was gonna take us 14 minutes to walk over here, but Katie, I don't think that's the case. I think we did it faster, what do you think? Yeah, probably in like, I don't know, seven to 10. Seven to 10, we'll take that, seven to 10. We'll see if this is a 20 minute wait, who knows? But Big Thunder Mountain Railroad for people who don't know, exactly the same on both coasts, except this one is mirrored. It's, they're like flip flops of each other. It's pretty cool actually. Uh, but different towns and based off of different um, natural beauties in the States here. This one is based off, I believe, let's see, do I remember? I think this one is Monument Valley, yeah because Bryce Canyon is the one over in California with Splash Mountain way over there in the distance. Probably not tonight, but sometime soon. Sometime very soon. So when I say that they are mirrors of one another, I mean the tracks themselves, but there are a lot of major differences between this Big Thunder and the one over in California. I did a video kind of comparing them and all the ones that are compared and all different from both coasts. If you guys want to check that out, shameless plug. But one major difference is that the queue line here is a bit more extensive for the one in Walt Disney World. You have some more interactive elements they added a few years back and also you ascend first and then you descend down to a covered uh, loading station. Whereas Disneyland, you kind of descend for a while, then you go up some stairs and then you load where you are actually outside and I might be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I'm, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, that's how the, the loading goes here. And one of the nice things about having a covered queue line here, especially for the loading area, is that in Florida, it rains 
I forgot about precipitation living in California for a bit. So when it was raining the other night, <laughs> I was like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> it's so pretty though. No matter which Big Thunder you go on, they're always gorgeous. Just look at her. Oh my gosh, I just, oh. I love you, Big Thunder. Katie, best remove them. This here is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Also, I love a themed exit sign. Can we punch in on that? Punch in, punch in, punch in. Look at that. That is nice. I love that. They have the same kind of style, in a sense, over at the Canada Pavilion. Or just like a themed one. I just, I really like these types of things, guys. I really do. Well, we're sitting here with my favorite number. I just want to thank you again for watching. I don't know if I said that today. All the days are bleeding together. But I'm feeling lucky. Lucky to have you here. So thank you, guys. It's going to be fun. And uh, thanks for making my day. They're back. Oh, see, they got all the lanterns in place right there. That's fun. You can see the Rainbow Cavern from the opposite side. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's like, it's like red. Oh. Here we go. It's thunder at night, everybody. Hold on. Woo! It's the other way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I forgot it. Well, of course, I should have done this. Oh my gosh, it oh, just oh, went away. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hi possums. Woo! Oh look at the town. That's another nice feature of this version. There's the big zoop the goat. There, there's, is there a goat? I don't know if we can do the goat trick. We can still try the goat trick. Pretend the goat trick is happening. Alright. Oh wow. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Alright, pretend there's a goat here. Oh, there's a goat. Oh, there's a goat right there, but it's the wrong way. It's oh, we have to go. Oh my God! <laughs> I forgot. Of course, it should be on the other side. The mirror is throwing me off. Oh my Lanta! Here we go. No explosions here, though. Yeah, that's okay. It's still nice to be on Big Thunder. Here we go. <laughs> no. I keep anticipating the wrong turns. Just screaming in the dark. Oh my gosh, you know that? The water's popping off. Uh -oh. It's it's so good. Every time. Big thunder. I love you. <laughs> Walking by Splash Mountain. Oh my goodness, there they are, side by side. Oh. Look at how well lit up it is over here. Oh, it's so lovely. It's so lovely, I can't wait to ride that. So here I am spouting off all these facts and figures or just kind of thoughts I have on Big Thunder, but yet when I was on it, the mirror threw me off so much. Every time Katie and I would look one way, I'm like, the turn will be to the left or it'll be on the right or, you know, the reverse. That's how many times I've ridden that other one at Disneyland now. Uh, and I love it, it's so much fun. Katie, did you have a good time? Yeah, I wanna go on it again. I want, yeah, at night. It's so good at night though. It's so good. And if they get those projections in that final lift hill, with the explosions and the smoke, the Rome, of, like Rome burning, I should say, from uh, Spaceship that Earth. Would, that would amplify it for sure. That's how. That's why Disneyland right now for me is tippity toppity. But uh, never pass on a chance to ride Big Thunder. I, Katie, notice it gets really hot in there because um, that queue line does get hot and because it's area. it's yeah in the choke point near the end. Or it, it's a lot of it's covered like we talked about. So uh, the heat does build up. So middle of the day especially, it's spicy up there. Spicy. spicy. Uh, it's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Katie and I are cutting through Liberty Square and we notice that this window is open over here. We're not sure why. I doubt it's the Muppets because the Muppets used to be over here. That is very strange. I'm not sure what's going on. Is it a one if by land, two if by sea situation? I don't think so. But the Hall of Presidents the other day was pretty good, right? Yeah, it was. Great show. Sorry, just taking in Liberty Square. what all this stuff is. I what know. Is Isn't there, okay, there's a bunch of space here, right? That's the Liberty oh, Square ticket, ticket office. office. Oh. I'm just saying, okay, there is, <laughs> we have to make room because look at this. I was telling Katie in my research for Sleepy Hollow, that video I keep plugging, please go check it out. I'm just so proud of it. Anyway, Sleepy Hollow refreshments. You see the Headless Horseman up there. Washington Irving was the guy who wrote that. Now Washington Irving was a writer back in the day and purchased a house in 
like upstate New York, Terrytown or something like that, and it's called Sunnyside. And if you look up the images of Sunnyside, it looks just like that, just that building right there. So the Imagineers, always thinking, always thinking. I just, I can't even, it, not only is Space Mountain's design so appealing to me, but the lighting package they have on it right now is just so good. Oh my gosh, just the red bleeding into the purple. It's just, mm, it's just so beautiful. It's really beautiful. And also, they just don't keep displaying the standby entrance for this, so we never know how long it's gonna be. <laughs> but worth the wait every time. I just, I love it here. I love it here. Look at this. Look at that right there. It's just, it's kind of, it's too bright right now. But it's just such a great queue line. The music, I know we talked about this the other day, but like when you look at it when I'm walking backwards, look at this, how much I love it. I'm walking backwards and I don't know how. Don't do this, everybody. Just, I'm a professional. I'm not a professional, but just, it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We are walking right up to the like loading area. There might be some switchbacks we have to go through up there, but the other day when we came here, we were stopped back here for quite a while. So I'm curious to see how long this is gonna take to hop on to. Hopefully not too long at all. Oh boy. <laughs> Looks like right now most of the standby is going into Alpha, but if you have a lightning lane, they put you into Omega. Very similar tracks. There are differences. I think top speeds might even be different, and the length of one of these is longer. I forget which one it is. I want to say Alpha, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, but we are most likely riding Alpha. But see, some of them went to Alpha right there. Maybe they asked to go to Alpha. I don't know. It's, I'm still trying to figure it out. Looks like we're rolling Omega. Oh my gosh. Last second audible by the cast member. Maybe they are just kind of, you know, which one line gets full. There you go. So this probably shaved a few minutes off our time. All together, maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. Not too bad though. Not too bad. Katie, we've been getting reports. Uh, the other day, we did see the Tomorrowland Creeper. Looks a lot like me, but he's still in here somewhere. Yeah, I think he lives in the ride, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They say Tomorrowland Creeper. He could be the Space Mountain Creeper, but uh, if we see him at all, if we see a picture of him, I'll post it. it again, he looks just like me. It's insane. Here we go. Yeah. Rock on, look. Oh, you gotta look at you. You're not looking at the... Katie, the camera. Ah. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We're back! We're gone! Yeah! Oh my gosh, there he was again! And he's wearing my shirt. Katie, he was sitting right in front of you. How did you I not see him? I was looking, but I couldn't see. I'm like... <laughs> I was looking at, I don't know what I was looking at. Again. I don't know what happened there. Update, Omega slaps. Uh, yeah, it sure did. I don't, I was telling Katie before, or right as we get getting to the top, I don't know if you heard me. I said that one goes up a few times. It and it, it does like twice. There are parts where you're like going down then it goes up real fast. Yeah. Uh, but man, I don't know which one's side's better. I like them both so much. Yeah, I don't do you, know either. Do you have a preference? I just, my favorite part is the big drop at the end. Pretty I love the big drop. I want that. I want that so much. Oh my gosh. It's just it's such a good attraction. The only thing they're missing is that old moving walker. <laughs> Which now they kind of had to reroute things, so it'd have to be like a long moving walkway and then like three or four up. So I get where that's hard to do now. But um, yeah, I just, it's a great ride. It's a great ride. So the queue line used to empty out into the power company here for Tomorrowland, but I'm guessing until Tron is done, they're not going to reopen that. So maybe there is a hope for moving walkway or something. I don't know. I, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. It's totally worth the trip up to Space Mountain. Because I mean, look at her. She's worth it every time. Yeah, I love Space Mountain. We did it. We did some mountains tonight, Katie. Sure did. You did a great job. Well done. Oh. Little stitch up there, and if you have the Magic Band Plus, all these statues will actually interact with you. Have a little uh, something to say back to you. It's very, very cute. Well, everybody, thank you so much for being here for day number two of the magical trip here in 2022. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I hope you guys have fun today. I know we did. It's a great day. We've been having a great time, and it's just kind of the beginning, honestly, of this whole thing. So, as I've told people, I'm just gonna keep uh, filming until we run out of SD cards. <laughs> So thank you, Katie, thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for inviting us to be in your video. Are you kidding me? No, thank you for the family. Also, Mom and Mac aren't here right now, but we appreciate them for bringing us along, going to Crystal Palace today. Katie got us on to Guardians. Remember that? Oh, I do. 
we did that. We did Mission Space today. Yeah, it was good. It was fun times. Either way, thank you so much for being here. You guys, I really appreciate you. And a special thanks to the patrons. That means so much to me. Thank you. And until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. overcome I guess. All right, bye-bye. Your patience has been rewarded with a bonus bit, a little show I've been working on with mom. I hope you enjoy it. Roll the show, Jimmy. Roll the show's promo. Christmas in November, now I've seen everything. <laughs> oh, there's Nana. Poor Nana. Right above her is Stitch. Usna a la Krista. This is a family show, Nana. Oh, look, there's a hidden Mickey there. 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 And there's a hidden Mickey right over. Lots of very hidden. Indiana Jones Adventure Colon Temple, the Forbidden Eye is here in Walt Disney World. What is happening? This little card here is making me think, what if all the dwarves of all seven were also akin to the seven deadly sins? Does that mean Dopey is greed? Because Grumpy's totally wrath. <laughs> An incurable case of motor mania. Mmm. Look at that sly guy. <laughs> is the Art of Disney your favorite store? At this moment it is. Oh. This is kind of interesting to me. I'm looking at this uh, painting for $1,400. Just to kind of show you guys, look at that, $1,399. And it's beautiful, but the thing that throws me off is that the castle isn't pink, that they've kind of made it for the 50th. And to be honest with you, this whole like, just the blue with the gray and the yellow on top, that looks really good to me. So that is now the headcanon for what it looks like in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if you like it this other way. And if you do like it that way, then it's okay. I've got one over here. That's got kind of the more pink, like right there, that kind of section. I don't know, guys. I don't know, but also, they could have made it this color. That would have been a bold choice. Jess is working on Darkwing Duck. Oh my goodness. Good job, Jesse. So impressive. I can't believe it. Look at this, guys. The Hula Girl saga continues. <laughs> I think there's only one left right now. Just one left right now. Oh my goodness. If anybody's ever looking for some art with some very creepy eyes, you can come over here. Get some of that. Cause uh, definitely gonna want that hanging up. Yep. Lefties, lefties. Oh my gosh, where was this store when I was a kid growing up? Ah, see, look at that. I'm left-handed. What's your superpower? <laughs> We found all the merchandise for pets over here. We're looking at some bandanas and some leashes. And just in case, you might need a water dish for a hot dog, as it were. You know? Right? First word Mickey Mouse ever said was hot dog. Really? Yeah, believe it or not. Hot dog. Oh, that's how you spell Nemo. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong, spelled it wrong the whole time. Huh? Is it Noimo? Oh, no, but what do you. That was, that was a joke. <laughs> well, well, well. I see what you're doing, Disney. You just slap a different name on there, but we all know which one I got first. I don't know. Still the same price, though. $4,999, right? That's good. That's good. Hey, it's been a good backpack to me. I mean, look at this thing. Look at, look at, it's right here. It's on my back. They give me a lot of grief for it at Universal. Aw, <laughs> oh, hey buddy, you're looking fetch. Whoa, Trex. I don't know what's in here. 
Uh, this reminds me of a few of my buddies who are in those chili eating contests. <laughs> Shout out, boys. Never skip arm day. Uh, I've been skipping that and leg day. Oh no. Oh no. Meteor shower. Oh no. Run, buddy. Run. Don't just stand there. Oh no.